New OEM crank, Skunk 2 rod, New OEM Honda oil pump, a Marley Gold Series piston, ARP head studs as well. Yeah, it's set to be a, a good motor that one. Hi guys and welcome back to my 1999 Honda S2000. It's still in for an engine rebuild, we're just Doing the last bits of it now, um, Just, just we found one or two issues with, I think, an exhaust valve, which is loose. I, I've just been filming around the corner for my, um, for my full-time job, so I thought I'd pop in and just see Jack um, on my way back home. Um, car's looking as yellow as ever, looking a little bit, a little bit damp. Um, typical British summer weather, we're in the middle of August here, um, and it's um, really damp and miserable and blowing a gale. So. Couldn't be driving this home and enjoying it anyway, so I'm not too bothered. Um, but yeah, we'll pop inside and we'll see how the engine rebuild process is going. Okay, just before we do that, let's have a little recap. I realise it's been a long time since my last video. My Honda S2000 in October of last year was presenting problems which my mechanic looked at and diagnosed that a bearing was starting to spin on the crankshaft. There was evidence that this had happened before. The crankshaft had been ground down previously and there were three options presented to me. Number one, grind the crankshaft down again, which I didn't really want to do. Number two, invest in a used engine and hope for the best. Or number three, have the engine completely rebuilt. I chose option number three and invested quite a bit of my own money and we'll find out exactly how much of that later on in the video uh, to have the engine completely rebuilt by its previous owner, Jack, at JDM Regiment. Jack knows these engines inside out and I knew that I could trust him to source the parts which were gonna build longevity and strength into the engine. Now obviously with, with coronavirus and everything that's happened since then, it's pushed the build time on quite a bit, but we're at the final stages, as I mentioned before, of the engine being rebuilt. I'm hoping to have the car back very soon and I hope to enjoy what's left of the summer. Please consider liking the video, uh, subscribing and turning on notifications. Anyway, back to the rebuild. This is Stevens F20C. The block which was come in a, a, an import AP1S2000. With, with it being out, it does have an FRM liner. You know, with that in mind, um, it's you know it's very important we selected the right parts. We went for a, a Marley Gold Series piston, which you know, has the correct coating, which um, will help protect the liners. Using the Skunk 2 rod as well, um, you know we've got a good combo there. Um, certainly ready for a bit of boost when you're ready for it. <laughs> um, but yeah, obviously using an ARP. Um, Head studs as well, um, better clamping force. Um, been proved for, for many years to be worth the worth money. Uh, new OEM crank, um, Skunk 2 rod. Uh, obviously they come complete with the ARP fasteners. Um, new OEM Honda oil pump. Obviously this has all been tied together, a brand new Honda crank, which gives myself as the builder and certainly yourself you know, peace of mind that we've got you know, we don't have any issues with uh, having to run a, a ground crank. No, we, um, I, I bought a, um, a used one off eBay and, and thought better of it as soon as it arrived because it had had score yeah. marks on it and everything. This is it. I mean, the, the, the moment you have to uh, get a crank ground, I mean, it's... Although a lot of engineering shops, their uh, equipment is, you know, calibrated perfectly, you're always um, relying on, you know, on, on, on their workmanship as well. and. You know, where I've, I've used crank, ground cranks before and, you know, I had no problems at all. Um, you know, I have used ground cranks and had problems. So, um, you know, with, with something of this, this calibre um, and with a car which I, I love as much as I do, <laughs> um, you know, we wanted to get this right and new crank um, just, you know, totally puts our mind at ease. So, yeah, it's set to be a, a good motor, that one. And I've mentioned it in two in previous videos, but this was obviously your, your previous car, wasn't it? I bought it off. It was, it was. It was uh, the first of a few S2000 I've owned and one which I held on to, um, you know, until I, until it was a point where I had to sell it. So it's, it is a car I love very dearly. Um, obviously I love the fact that you're, you're uh, going to the extent you are with it. Um, yeah, I love the car. I absolutely love it. <laughs> cool. Well, let's have a look at the top end then. Yeah. So 
So this is a cylinder head all stripped down. Um, we found that the original valve guides, uh, which are, are these here, um, were very worn, they were very ovaled. Um, Scott was uh, lapping the valves in and he said, Jack, look, we, we've got a problem here. Um, but straight away, you know, he'd come over and we looked at it and it was, it was, it was too much play. It would, it would never have done the build justice at all. So uh, it's a new set of Ferrera uh, valve guides in there. Um, and, that, and that's yeah, totally eradicated that, that play. Um, obviously we're gonna get some new stem seals on um, and get the head assembled. What we find with a lot of you know, petrol combustion engines, you get a lot of build up in these ports. Um, and yeah, it's just had a, a mild port. Uh, still needs a bit, bit of polishing to do, but it's come on leaps and bounds from when, uh, when we first took it apart. Very shiny. Yes, all very clean in there. Yeah. Obviously, all these will need grinding in. Nice little bit of uh, material to come off the head really, it's uh, literally just the way we, you, you mate the valves. Um, I mean this in this instance they're like a, 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 a twin seat. Um, it's just making sure that you know it's a really really even grind and it's you know we get that perfect valve to um, valve seat um, you know as, as perfect as we can basically. Really fine cutting, cutting paste to just take that. Yeah, and you know, you notice of it. I mean, when you start, you know, it's quite a, quite a coarse grinding sound, and it's really smooth down there. Yeah. yeah Down 16 to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can just see how that's changed the colour on the.
So I left Jack to finish up the rest of the valves and I went home after a long day of work. So I mentioned earlier in the video that I'd kind of give a breakdown of, of the cost of the engine rebuild. I won't go into exact figures, but the used under S2000 market uh, here in the UK, you can probably pick up a pretty, well, a pretty good beta Honda S2000 for the same price as what I've been paying for the, for the engine rebuild. So it's uh, on paper, it's not the best of investments. But at the same time, I know that this engine rebuild will, will build a lot of longevity into the engine. Um, I, I know I'm, I want to be doing it 100,000 miles in, without any further problems with the engine. So fingers crossed that'll happen. Uh, but it also adds, adds a bit of flexibility as well. If I want to in the future, as I mentioned, or as Jack mentioned before, supercharger or turbocharger, I'm quite happy with it naturally aspirated at the moment and given the current financial climate and situation in the world, it's probably not the best of times to be spending that much money on the car. Um, but yeah, I, I hope you've enjoyed this little look at the uh, the rebuild process. I would have loved to have been able to do the whole, the whole process, but because of the, the uh, lockdown restrictions and everything that's happened, happened um, this year, yeah, that hasn't really been possible. Um, but you should hopefully, the next video you see, which, which will come really soon, will be me collecting the car from Jack at JDM Regiment. And it will be the first time that I've given that car for nearly 12 months. Um, hoping to bring you, bring you that early in October. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Do consider subscribing and liking this video if you enjoyed it. Uh, tell your friends about it. And I will see you in a video really soon.